Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to use the shaping tool in CorelDRAW X6. The shaping tool will give you several options to combine and separate aspects of your artwork in Corel. Um, I want to start by grabbing a couple just random boxes. You can do this with any type of shape that you create into Corel. Uh, I'm going to open the shaping tool. We're going to click on Arrange, go to Shaping, and actually select shaping. Now this opens up the toolbar on the right hand side. Uh, at the top of the toolbar you can pick from whichever you want to do. Let's start by using the weld function. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these the way I would these two boxes the way I would like these selected together. I'm going to select the first option I'm going to tell it to weld two and I'm going to select the next one you'll now notice that these are both one object. We, For all practical purposes we welded them together and made them one option. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this image and put it just over top of this box. As a matter of fact, I'm going to widen this out and show it to you this way. I'm going to take this image and set it on top of it and I'm going to select the trim tool. <clears throat> now the trim tool is going to cut this area outside of the box of the target box. When we select this, we now look, we have the image, and I'll make this one color so that you see it. Your image is now the box itself, but the inside is still transparent, and we'll see whatever's behind it. Um, go ahead and create ourselves another box here so we have something to play with. Um, the next thing I want to show you is going to be the intersect tool. Now for the intersect tool, let's bring these two together. I'm going to select intersect and I'm actually going to get rid of the original options. And I'm going to intersect this with this object. Now what this does is it leaves just the area where the two boxes intersect with each other. And Before I forget to show you this, as we do this, and I select the intersect tool, um, this top checkbox will actually leave the source object or the object you have selected. The bottom checkbox will leave the target area, whichever box we're actually selecting to intersect with. Uh, if I do this, we're going to actually end up with three different images. We're going to have our original box our target box and the intersect section. So you can actually decide to keep <coughs> your originals and keep this or you can actually have it delete the originals when you go. Whichever is more practical for what you're doing. Um, let's see, the next thing I want to do, let's give this a little color. The next tool we're going to look at is going to be the simplify tool. Now the simplify tool I believe we have to select two of these and apply it. Now what the Simplify tool does is it just cuts out simple shapes. It'll take the top box and cut it out from the bottom. You can do the same thing if I place this here and select back. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I can't make a selection. This is telling you that it's going to keep the front object and cut out of the back object, showing the diamond here and then the square for the back. Alright, the next tool we want to look at is going to be front minus back. So I'm going to select both objects, front minus back, and again it should cut the back piece out of the front piece. We'll apply that and that's what we have. Um, the next tool is back minus front, same ob the same outcome, only it's going to cut this piece out of the back. And then the next is the boundary. Now the boundary, what it's going to do is make an outline of what's here. Now I'm going to tell it to leave the original object and I'm going to hit apply. And you'll notice when I drag this off, it's basically giving me an outline of whatever we have selected. Uh, do the same thing, select everything and apply boundary. 
and we're going to get an outline of everything that we had selected. This concludes our tutorial on using the shaping tool. Um, if you have any questions on this, you're more than welcome to contact me at Condi. Um, phone number is 1-800-826-6332. Uh, option 2 for tech support. Uh, thanks and have a great day.